Howdy. How's it going? Pretty good. Good. You from around here? No, San Diego. Oh, have you been out here before? Uh, once several years ago. Uh, do you know where you're going? Yeah, just going out to Aho. So. Oh, you're going down through the desert all the way out to there? Yes. Oh, that's a pretty good run. A yeah, hundred miles, yeah. Yeah. Are you camping out between now and then, or? No, just driving through the uh, through the day and then back out. Okay. Do you see? Do you see this or? No, nah, man. Oh, I don't okay. Know. I'm just out here to catch people that shouldn't be here from another country. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's not that's not my business. That's a whole nother. That's the the range, but. Okay. Yeah, as long as you got that, um, I haven't seen any rain wardens out here today driving around, but. Okay. Once you uh, once you get out towards. Okay. Heard the legal crossings have gone down recently, so. Yeah. <laughs> well, we actually we saw some people. Uh, well, this mountain range here kind of goes down near the border fence. Yeah. We caught a group down there this morning. Uh, and once you get out towards on the other side of these mountains, in between Welton and Ajo, it's still it's still coming across out there. But, uh, okay. You don't have any problems. You by yourself? Yes. You have anybody else following you? No, just myself. Okay. So you got a you got a route like on a GPS or something to get out there? Uh, I got the map and this guidebook and my memory from the last time. Okay. Yeah. I, I just came. Damn, we're not. I, once you get there, you're almost into the mine down here. Okay. There's there's a couple of spots like where this little road that you'll be on there's some open mine shafts and shit like not that far away from it. Okay. Um, but that's only like maybe another. Half a mile down south here, but I mean it's slow going for about the next probably two or three miles down through there. It's pretty tight, but I mean, hell, I came up through here in this, and it's no yeah. problem. But once you get out of this stuff, it'll open up a little bit, and the, the Camino going down through there is pretty. It's just nothing but washboards and chatter. So it's some sand. Eh, it was like I remember one sandy spot. And yeah, once you get down, um, you'll probably go six or seven miles. Okay. Well, alright, man, we'll have fun. Yeah, we'll do. Are you, are you, ta are you coming back to San Diego the same route, or are you going to take the highway back? Uh, I'm, I'm on vacation, so I'm just going to keep going off-road for a while. Maybe yeah. a couple more trails in Arizona, then head up to Utah, and then yeah. back home next week. You probably, you won't have nothing for cell service out through here. That's fine. Uh, As long as you're on kind of, once you get on back on the Camino, I mean, if you got any problems or whatever, you'll we'll be down through there eventually. You know, that's kind of the normal road we drive. So yeah, it might be several hours before you see another truck or something. But right now, there's a lot of people who go out through there besides us. So okay. Hopefully, if you need help, you'll get it. Good. Sooner than later. It's more reliable than toy than the Jeep was. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Unless unless something just crazy happens, we'll be all right. Yeah. I do. Yeah, I aired my tires down to like okay. 15 in the rear and 20 in the front. Oh, nice. A lot yeah. more comfortable. Yeah, yeah, that'll help out a lot. And if you get into any really soft stuff, maybe drop the front down to like 15. And if it's really bad, maybe go down to 10 until you get out of it. I got the locker room, good. Alright, my man, we'll have fun. Alright, we'll do. Thanks for watching us out there. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>